Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be a match between Flash and Light here on Fighting Spirit. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's Fighting Spirit. The name of the map is in Korean, and I can't translate it using my Google Translate app on my monitor for some reason, so... If it's not Fighting Spirit, then we'll change it in the title. Top left hand corner is going to be Hello, the Red Protoss player Light. And in the bottom left hand corner, we have the Brown Terran player Concentrations, also known as Flash, throwing his 435 APM in the first nothing of this game. The first minute of this game, where literally all he's doing is waiting for SCVs to be built. Just spamming those fingers, getting ready for the time when it is mid game, when it is late game, when having 400 APM is actually pretty useful. And you can do a lot of stuff with that level of APM. My APM is around, I don't know, 110, 120 sometimes. Depends on how late in the game it gets and how many Zerglings I can make by holding down the Z key in StarCraft 2. My APM in Brood War is a different question altogether. So, hmm, not entirely sure how that one looks, to be honest. Anyway, going to be a PvT featuring Flash. And it's interesting because from the comments I gather from you guys that TVP is not very balanced in favor of Protoss. Unless you're Flash, in which case it's balanced in favor of Flash. Where he's insanely good at TVP, really great at getting out just huge mech armies, destroying Protoss. They struggle mightily to figure out ways to deal with the tank count and deal with the vultures and deal with the science vessels throwing down EMPs. And they try to recall and they try to storm and they try to use Corsair Disruption Web, but nothing seems to work. Flash just wins these games over and over and over again. But, but, we will see. We will see how Light can do here today. I like this player quite a bit. We've cast a bunch of him in the past, I want to say, on the channel. I'd have to, mm, I'd have to look at it. Now I'm actually having questions here as to where, because uh, there's a Light who plays Terran. And there's a Light, apparently, who plays Zerg here as well. So, hmm, I'm, 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 We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out all together here. And I'm going to see if I can figure out... Something along the lines here. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Alright, so nobody doing any proxy craziness. We don't see any buckers coming down. No pylons out in weird places on the map. Light cruising on in seas. Ah. It's a pretty early expansion here. That's probably a one racks expand into another supply depot. He's going to hold off on the academy stuff for the time being. It's going to be a fairly macro opening out of a flash. And then Lights, on the other hand, does have a cyber core. He's working on Dragoon range. This is a pretty good situation for Protoss. They can show up with ranged Dragoons and harass your front door for quite some time. So Flash needs to watch out for that. I'm sure he's prepared for it. You really can't break it until you get a tank out. So we'll see. I mean, a bunker, yeah, bunker with Marines can't do it. Can't deal with Dragoons that have that range upgrade, that singularity charge. It's frustrating, but it can't kill you necessarily. They can't come into range of the bunker and attack it directly. So it takes some time to actually whittle this down. SCVs can repair it. It's not a game-winning scenario, but it's pretty frustrating to deal with, and I'm pretty sure that's what we're seeing here out of light. He's making Dragoons. He's getting singularity charge. He's not expanding yet. His resources are going towards more Dragoons. And here they come. One across the map. Uh, probe heading on back home, I guess, maybe to continue mining those delicious, delicious minerals. And we've got a barracks coming up as well. I'm not sure if this is to help wall off or possibly to set a new target for the Dragoons to fight. Yeah, see? You're in range. You're in range. There we go. He finds the perfect spot for the Dragoon to sit in there. Singularity charge is almost done. Flash knows exactly what this is. Knows exactly what's coming here. Factory on the way. You need tanks to clear it. He's going to work towards tanks as fast as he can and while saturating his natural base too. Two factories on the way, making an SCV, making Marines. Because, right, if you don't have enough Marines in this bunker, then the Dragoons just walk right past you and win or just destroy you and take you down that way. So we got the Dragoons on the way. Singularity Charge is almost done. It's a robotics facility opening well, from light. So we could see some Reavers. I would like to see maybe some Observer play for scouting too. But yeah, see, this is what I'm t exactly what I'm talking about here. The bunker taking serious hits. SCV is forced to pull off the line to deal with this. Light is bringing another Dragoon down. He's making another Dragoon. He's not going multiple gate here, mind you. He doesn't have multiple Stargates or Warp Gates. Gateways! Rah, rah, rah. Gateways here to punch. Just continue making a Dragoons. But he's making enough 
to where Flash has to lose minerals during this repair phase, which is really, really annoying. Pull SCDs off the line, which is lost resources too. And yeah, light's expanding behind this. There's the warping of your Nexus. We got another Dragoon on the way. Is he done with Dragoons is the problem, is the question here. Is he going for third? Hey, third Nexus up here for light. Dang, son. He's really macroing hard behind this, recognizing that Flash can't push while he's dealing with this at his front. He needs tanks, he needs siege mode done. It is gonna be observatory, so observers first, out of light. And yeah, I mean, you're never breaking this, right? Against Flash, you're never breaking this front at all. He knows exactly how many SCVs to bring over to repair. He knows, can he keep that SCV alive? No! SCV actually dies, Ugh, taking a little bit too much damage there. Eh, it's none of its whole damage. It's all just shield damage, which will come back. So no problem there from light, pulling back a little bit. That guy took some damage. Now there's a tank, and now we just go home. At this point, we're out. Took a tank shot to the face. Let's get out of here. Let's try to defend our three bases as best we can. So Observer in production. I guess maybe he's worried about spider mines at this stage, but we don't we don't see them. Spider mines are in research, but they're not out yet. There are some vultures down here, but they don't have speed. They don't have the spider mine upgrade, so they're fairly useless, especially if there are this many dragoons already out on the field in a defensive posture. I do love this over here. All good Protoss players will just wall off the top of this ramp with pylons and call it good. Uh, that way, Vultures can't sneak on in there at all. And then they'll just use this to transverse. They're not going to do try to get out of here really by themselves anyway. Finally, we do see an academy here, probably for ComSat. Probably for that scan out of Flash, no question whatsoever. And yeah, just factory, factory, working on SCVs all the live long day, making a third command center. Somewhere out there. Where is it? Third command center? Third CC? Down here, maybe? I don't know. See, look, this is what I'm talking about. The vultures are trying to get up there. No, they can't do it. They can't get over here either because of the wall. Where are the... There, oh, it's right here. What a weird place to put your third, Flash. Very, very odd, but I'll take it. You're only the best Terran player in the history of StarCraft, so no complaints at all. And honestly, if you're so good, right? If you are so good... Where's the Observer? That you can redefine what a matchup is, then you're in a pretty good spot, right? If people say this matchup is disfavored for us, unless it's Flash, that is such a crazy thing to say. Man, these guys eventually will take down this pylon. They have enough damage to do it. Where are the Dragoons? They need to come up the backside and trap these guys. They're so worried about spider mines, though, as they should be. Another pylon coming up here and another pylon coming up here. This is like dealing with a Ling Rush. Yeah, I mean, just get out. There's Dragoons. These two guys are going to escape. Nope, one does not escape. The other one does get out of there with no hit points, man. Five hit points. One gets picked off by the Dragoons. You hear by the sound there. So great job defending the third base. Light making it happen there. That was his goal. He completed it. He's not dead. He's continuing to make probes. I feel like his economy is better than Flash's right now. Flash is on two base. He's got a third base done. It's lifted off, but it's not in position to where you can actually mine from it. Yes, this is Fighting Spirit. Okay, good. I was, I was worried about this, but I'm at the point where I kind of recognize char Korean characters a little bit. And I was pretty sure that's what it was. Also, the fact that a lot of the games are played on Fighting Spirit for StarCraft Brood War. It's just it's a great map. It's a balanced map. People don't have any complaints about it other than they're kind of bored with it, I think is how this works. Observer flying on in. Oh, in missile turret range. Woo, gets out before taking too many hits from that missile turret. Light's getting plus one attack for his Zealots. He's going for a Stargate here which indicates we could see some Arbiter play, which people do try to tend to do in PvT, and especially against Flash. You can't hack this head-on. There's too many tanks. Your Dragoons and your Zealots are going to have a bad time. And if you try to drop on top of them, there's Missile Turrets, and there's going to be hell... Uh, there's going to be Goliaths here at some point, too. So you got to watch out for that. But just dropping in the main base and killing stuff, killing SCVs, killing production, and just slowly starving Flash out that way can be a way to win PvTs. Can be a way to beat him. Ooh, was that a hit? That was a hit. Those Dragoons taking the hit from the spider mine. Splash damage. Pretty good stuff. Swinging around the right side. Trying to do what they can here. But, eh. I mean, engaging here is pretty much suicide. But holy smokes. He's going for it. He does not care about this tank count at all. Zealots on top of tanks doing pretty well for themselves. And by Zealots, I mean there's a single one here. But, man, tanks versus Dragoons. Holy smokes. Light did it. Light broke this tank line. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. All right. Fair enough, then. He's got two Dragoons remaining. They're both severely injured and getting chased away by reinforcing tanks. So, I mean, he broke the tank line, but didn't have enough, actually, to get through and actually do anything with it. 
which is frustrating as all get out. So more spider mines getting tossed down. 300 APM right now for Flash. He is... Oh, these, these probes need to be going somewhere, Light. Come on. I know you're macroing your face off back there, but these guys need to get to work. They're sitting here at your natural, not doing anything for you whatsoever. There's your Arbiter Tribunal. Arbiter Tribunal in production. Light knows that's what you got to do here. The cloak is pretty good. The recall is really good. Stasis is really good versus Tank Clumps, too. So, I mean, everything you have here is going to be pretty fantastic against the Terran, which is why a lot of players go for those Arbiters. That's going to be the answer. Vulture trying to cruise on up, see what he can see. Is there a fourth base? No. Does he have any spider mines to throw down? No, he does not. I'm pretty sure that's... That does show, right? How many spider mines are available? Either way, he does manage to escape temporarily into a corner and die. Yeah. Oh, man. There we go. Fourth base. Light is getting a fourth base up, which is fantastic stuff. Third base of Flash is happily running. We're going for stasis. We're going for arbiters. Working on... There's an armory. Armory in production and additional factories. Vehicle weapons being upgraded too. Flash is on 0-0, zero, zero, but that's going to change very, very quickly. He does love his upgrades for his units. Okay, I'm liking this. I really like what Light is doing. He took that tank count, reset it for Flash effectively. He's been expanding faster than Flash has. He's got more units. He's got better upgrades as he does have... Just kidding. They're the same upgrades now. It's 1-1. One, one. Well... Plus one attack for each player, which I try to say 1-1, one, one, which didn't make a lot of sense. Anyway, my goodness, my goodness, what Light is doing. I like his battle plan right now. Dragoons holding map control, clearing out spider mines, taking down tanks when he can. Even if you have to sacrifice Dragoons to do it, it's a fair trade. If you can get an economical trade, then you should do the economical trade. Vulture's trying to cruise up here, and ooh, Probe's getting through that line, but Vulture's can't. Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was a close... I mean, some of those probes did die, but... Most of them did manage to make it through to try to saturate. Oh, it's done. Come back. Come back. They're not coming back. They're long distance mining for one more trip, which is really dumb. 142 to 139 supply. Light is up and feeling good about himself, too. As the Protoss music is on in the background. And we go past an old Protoss Zelnaga style statue here on Fighting Spirit on the right side. Yeah, man. Spider Mine's getting cleared out. They're effectively free for Flash. I mean, minerals don't really cost. They don't really count for anything for Flash in this game at this point. He makes vultures, and yeah, they're there to deal with the zealots, and they're there to throw down spider mines. That's pretty much it, to deal with ground armies that try to jump on top of the tanks. It's a brilliant, brilliant synergy, and the first person who figured it out, I'm not sure who it was, it was probably many, many, many years ago before Flash even started playing Brood War. But it's just, it's beautiful stuff to be sure. We got Storm. We are working on, there's your recall. For light, Flash, on the other hand, is getting Charon boosters. He's getting tanks and vultures. Does he actually have any Goliaths yet? He doesn't. He doesn't see a need to tech switch into Goliaths quite at this point in time. But he's at 177 supply at 12 minutes into this game, which is amazing. Vultures dying, but once again, I just think they're fairly expendable. Not that Flash wants them to die. He's not sending them into die in particular. As you can see here, he's microing to keep them alive as long as he can. But if they die, it's no major loss here, I don't feel like. All right, so Dragoons pulling back, pulling, pushing up a little bit now is our friend Flash. He's working on EMP. He is working on additional bases. Is he going to float up another base anywhere? Production tab says no. Dark Templar in production too. Really enjoying Dark Templar play here. Whether it's for ooh, Dark Archons or whether it is for DTs, we'll have to see. I just don't know that Dark Templar work all that well against a player of Flash's caliber just because he's got detection available. Ah, here we go. Yeah, walking into this cloaked zealot army. That's a lot of zealots, man. They are plus one attack, plus two is almost done. I think they have zealot legs. I didn't notice that in the production tab, but if you have this many zealots and you don't have zealot legs, you probably did something wrong. You probably forgot it if he doesn't. Kidder and Amulet in production. Both players just upgrading and producing. We're going to have a maxed out versus a maxed out army here very, very soon. Light is already maxed out. And it's just been little dances. Right? Little dances of Dragoons versus Vultures. Generally, the Dragoons are winning these battles. Like this right here. Actually, you know what? There are enough Vultures here to fight. And the Dragoons are pulling back here. It's just sheer volume right now. Wow! These Vultures absolutely going for it. Coming in to try to save them is the rest of the army to deal with this Vulture group. And they're trying to focus on as many of these Dragoons as they can. They're not going to get all of them. That was their goal, but they didn't quite meet it, but that's okay. 186 to 169 supply. 
tank production, vulture production. Still don't see any Goliaths at all. And I think maybe he knows about the Arbiter. So, I mean, he's not worried about that for the Goliaths. But, you know, picking off the Arbiter from distance, just focus firing, taking it down there with the Goliaths can be a pretty big victory in these engagements. Although that's not what we're going for. Observer taken down, pushing up, flash, making it happen here. And EMP tossed down. Oh, does catch that Arbiter. The right side one does still have some energy. Nice stasis thrown down. On a, ooh, a science vessel and a couple of these tanks here, too. So not too shabby. Out of light. 195 to 195 supply. We are maxed out. Another base warping on the right side for light. We knew about that one. I just didn't comment on it at the point. And are we still just on three bases? Flash is on three base, you guys. Is this? My goodness. Do you just out macro Flash? Is that the goal here? Is light going to do it? I don't know, man. That is still so many tanks with plus two and plus one armor. Ugh. Sandwiched a little bit here. Light may be overextending. He's trying to come on down in his place where Flash is not quite ready for it. But uh, we've got Goliath on the ground now. Goliath ground attack is actually impressively uh, destructive as well. Oh, man. He's walking into this spider minefield. This is so bad for Light right now. He's forced to pull back and defend at the same time. Just retreating from this position. Heading from the south to the north. He doesn't like what he sees here at all. Try to get an attack on, but it didn't really work out in the end. That said, he's making 12 Zealots at a time. Science Festival gets picked off, I think, by Dragoons there. The Arbiters are generally still alive. Chasing with the Unseed Shanks. Chasing with the Vultures here. And just ring around the Rosie. Some free tanks on the left side. Flash kind of left unprotected. All right, man. That's pretty good stuff here. Vultures fighting against the enemies they can't see, which is never good. Great storm on those Vultures. Great storm on the tanks. Another storm here would be pretty good, but I don't think there are any available... From, actually, there are. Dude, throw down some more. Oh, no light. Lost effectively oh, a two-storm High Templar there. That is such bad news. More storm coming in. Zealots wandering on and trying to get it with his army, but too many siege tanks down at the bottom. And unseen tanks at the north. 158 to 152 supply. It is an amazing engagement right now. Light is able to make a lot of Zealots at a time here. More storms coming on in. This Arbiter is getting shot at by a couple Goliaths. Three Goliaths, and it does end up happening and going down more storms zealots watering into the storms just a little bit here tanks are getting wiped out as well but flash continuing to push with his 132 to 168 army supply or total supply here he might have a bigger army though based on what we're seeing here light is trying to defend as well as he can more zealots in production high templar gets picked off he's pushing in he's sieging up at the natural base here light is in a heck of a lot of trouble he's got more arbiters on the way more dragoons on the way. More Zealots on the way. More... Z there we go. That's what you need. The Zealots coming in from both sides, actually. Getting a bit of a surround here on these tanks. The tanks are not siege, which means they can take out these Zealots a little bit better. But, man, tanks are here to deal. Well, not here to deal with the Zealots. The Zealots are here to deal with the tanks. And suddenly, Light is able to break it with basically nothing but speed lots. That is pretty good stuff right there. And they're able to chase you down. Great storm and a huge group of Goliaths and tanks injuring them. This Vulture doing serious work here. He's got one kill trying to pick up. Oh, he does get the High Templar. And now this Archon is never going to finish its morphing abilities. It's morphing spell there. Combining? Combining spell? I don't know what it is. Okay, again, here we go. Finally, Flash taking a base on the left side. So he's got four bases compared to the six, though, still, that Light is rolling with. It's still 199, 191 to 145 supply. Another Observer gets picked off. Nice EMP. Direct hit on the Arbiter there. Just so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. The good news is that we have a lot of gateways. Light has so many gateways. He's maxed out again versus a 159 supply army out of Flash. Flash a little bit spread thin here. Half the army's here. Half the army's here. And Light is engaging into this one half of the army towards the south. Making it happen as best as he can. The Vultures are fighting pretty well against the Zealots that are running in. spider Mine's getting some decent hits off there too. Arbiter with the cloak is helping. And continued scans are a big deal as well though. And actually coming right on down into this group. Wiping out a bunch of tanks, trying to keep that tank count low as best as he can. The engagement is serious right now. More reinforcements coming in from the north here, from the Zealots. And it looks like Light is actually winning this engagement. We do have, woohoo, defensive matrix 
on a tank fighting against Zealots is not enough. And he ends up getting wiped out there too. The tables have turned. Light is now the one up 173 to 110 supply. Are we actually going to see a PVT where Flash ends up losing a game, you guys? This is insanity right now. Still fighting, we've got Dragoons. Is there enough, though? Just making Dragoons and Zealots multiples at a time. He needs to wipe out a base. I think Light needs to kill this fourth base or this third base, and he's going to be in a great position, but he can't. He hasn't been able to do it. Flash has been unable to take out a base of his opponents, too. Ooh, Vulture's catching some free probes. Some free probe -roonies. That is so brutal. Blah, 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 blah. Getting on, on out of there. Mmm. Okay. All right. So 170, 180, 191 to 124 supply. Look at the supply for light here. We've got some vultures cruising around trying to find dudes to kill, if at all possible. And yeah, sure, this six base is fairly exposed. Actually, really exposed. There are some cannons, but not in a great spot. Actually, Flash is fighting it. <laughs> He's fighting a uh, seventh. Sure, why not? Light's taking a seventh in the bottom right hand corner. He's really trying to squeeze Flash into not getting anything more than these four bases. He doesn't really want to push on any of them. Which maybe is a good idea. Okay, never mind. He does want to push on them. The third base is under attack now. Zealots on top of supply depot. Supply depot's there specifically so the zealots have to stop and attack something before coming on in. Oh, it's an evacuation. There aren't enough actual units to do here. What a stasis. Stasis on that vulture so nobody can come up that ramp. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful play there out of light. Gorgeous. Gorgeous play. Third base is done. These SCVs can get out of here. They can squeeze through, but none of the attacking units can get through that space. Oh, the storm on the SCVs. The storm on the ooh, science vessel does manage to escape. Does manage to get out of there. But the third base has been ravaged. And Light is up 200 to 144 supply right now. Zealot trying to kill as many of these SCVs as they can. This is a graveyard. Still, can float the command center back in. That is the perk of being Terran. One of the perks of being Terran. Light coming down the left side with yet another attack. Trying to take out this fourth base, if at all possible. There are more defending units here. It's mostly vultures, though, which is not going to work out. Versus these dragoons that are at plus three attack versus the plus three two all right so flash has better upgrades light is working on his armor upgrades now oh light coming back into the third base he's got all oh, the storm any storms available he's trying to maybe get a storm off here there we go oh, that's a whiff there's <laughs> a whiff of a storm happens to the best of protoss players another decent storm really storming more of his own guys than anything else here high templar wandering into battle storming tanks on the low ground try to weaken those guys but weakened guys do full damage something you got to figure out here so pulling back is light his macro has been insane he's making zealots and dragoons as fast as he can consistently throughout the match he's been losing armies and remaking them in an almost zerg like faction here which you can do because you can make this many gateways you can make this many gateways and produce units very very quickly that is the bonus of being protoss against a terran mecking player is all you really need are these zealots and these dragoons and the occasional arbiter and you're going to be fine. 200 to 139 supply. If anybody can come back from this, Flash can come back from this. But he's down. He's down 60 supply. 58 supply right now. He's clawing his way back, though. Continuing to produce tanks. Continuing to produce science vessels. It's just, there's so much red on the map. There are so many bases from light right now. Zealots and Dragoons wandering up again into this fourth. The tanks not standing very well. Stasising only one of the tanks and a Fenta Matrix on one of the tanks there too. Oof, it's just not looking good here for Flash. Does he have enough units to defend this position? It doesn't look like he does. Tanks are getting wiped out here. Zealots on top of the army there too. SCV's not even getting pulled from this position. It is looking like maybe it's done. Tanks on the low ground are defending right now. 180 to 135 supply. Tanks are just crushing from this position you guys one kill and two kill there the command center needs to get focused down are you really worrying about the tanks i don't know about this oh science vessels are getting targeted okay that's interesting that's what you want to do here try to get some shots off on that fleeing command center as well does not benefit from upgrades and therefore plus three dragoons do pretty darn well against it here taking some serious tank shots though keeping that alive flash does manage to keep the command center alive that said, when all is said and done, it is 191 to 111 supply. This is the army of Flash. This is what he has. Meanwhile, we have Zealots cruising in from all corners of the map right now. 
It is 3-3 three, three mech. Okay, that's great. And it's only 3-1 bio here with the Dragoons. Yeah, Zealots coming around the back side. Zealots on the top side. Storm on the takes, weakening them, allowing the Zealots to jump on top of these guys. And that's your good game! Flash <laughs> taps out. And Light is your winner. What an absolutely insane PVT there. Yeah, what it really came down to was Light gambled. Light gambled. He gambled there to go ahead, set up the Dragoon contain, and go for a very quick third base, and then a quick fourth base, and a fifth base, and a sixth base, and a seventh base, and then an eighth base, and just try to win engagements, wiping out, resetting that tank count in the early stages of the match was huge for Light. It was a massive, massive benefit for him. He made it happen. And then it was just pumping Zealots and Dragoons for the end of time. Look at how <laughs> many gateways there are here. And look how many gateways there are here. As well, he split up his production facilities in case something died. In case his main died, he could still make a bunch of stuff. Right? The Arbiter did great stuff. Great stasis is there. Did not do any recalls. No recalls at all. Just won his matches. Won his battles in the middle of the map. And that's all that was really needed. So, yeah. I mean, ended up wiping out this left side base, third, the fourth base, and the third base. And that was it. Just economically, you were not overcoming this. Even if Light had been nothing but Zealots. For most of the rest of the game, I think he would have ended up winning that thing. That's kind of what he did. It was a lot of Zealots on the ground. 3-1 Zealots with some Dragoon support. Got some shuttles, too, with literally nothing in them. And then High Templar for Storm to deal with the clumped up tanks. It wasn't amazing. It wasn't flawless, but it worked out. And maybe this is, this is the blueprint, man. This is what you do. Storm, a lot of Zealots and Dragoons. Don't bother with recalls. Be as greedy as you possibly can be. And then just try to out macro flash and then win smaller engagements, expand a whole ton. Maybe you're going to lose more units, but that's okay. Just play it Zerg style. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's check out this final score. Where it comes down to 20, 210,000 to 235,000 in favor of light. Ended up, yeah, 485 Terran units produced, 420 produced by light. Ended up losing 300 of those. The Flash lost 377 as well. Look at this. 340 units killed from Light. That's a lot of dead mech. That's a lot of dead mech there. Ended up raising 17 buildings. That was towards the end of the game there. And then resources. Way more gas mined. Way more minerals mined. Way more spent. I mean, that is what? Do math on, on stream. Always a good idea, isn't it? But it's basically 15,000 more resources spent here which is a lot of zealots and dragoons as it turns out so great job in the end there by light getting a win in a pvt versus flash something i don't i mean obviously we were going to see it at some point but i think a lot of people were questioning whether it was even possible especially in a macro style game and light i think he showed us how to do it all right fantastic well that is going to be it from me this has been falcon paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself.